another voice in the background also which will repeat this in polish like dziewczynka jest piękna i um okay i don't know Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, African Queen in Poland. My name is Samira and today I will share with you interesting fact or surprising fact about Poland or Polish people. If you are Polish, let me know in the comment if everything I said is true. Or if you have things to add, don't hesitate. First thing is that Polish people are eating pizza with ketchup. Yes. I have never eaten pizza with ketchup in another country, only in Poland. Second thing is that Poland is said to be a poor country, but you will see here very expensive cars. Personally, I saw here many cars I have never seen when I was living in France and I'm wondering how these people who are poor are supposed to buy these cars. When you will come to Poland, especially if you are coming here in Wrocław, because I don't know in another city how is it, but here in Wrocław, you will be like, wow, 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 what is this car? You are like, you don't even know what is the brand. Third thing is about the Polish language. They conjugate everything. But when I'm telling you everything, it's really everything. It's like even a name, they will make conjugation of your name. Like for example, depending on the sentence and depending on what the person wants to say, instead of Samira, they can say Samire, Samiron, Samirje, and so on. And you know, people can be talking about you. You will not even know that they are talking about you. They are adding many letters in your name and I'm just like, Samiro? <laughs> One thing surprising for me here in Poland was about the translation in television. You know, in the, another countries, you have original version and they translated already, for example, in Spanish or in Portuguese or in Italian. But in Poland, when you have a, a movie in original version, for example, in English, and they want to translate in Polish television, you have on the background, like the original version, people talking in English and after you have another voice of a person who is translating in Polish so for example uh, in English can be like the woman is beautiful and she came into the um, kitchen and another voice in the background also which will repeat this in Polish like dziewczynka jest piękna i um, okay I don't know I'm trying to see if I can find a a small video to illustrate what I'm telling. Five things surprising here for me in Poland is that they don't really ask you how are you because in Poland if you will ask to somebody how are you they will start really to tell you how they are. It means that if they have problem or they feel not good they have you know they will start to tell you everything so you better don't ask to people how are you. I was surprised at the beginning but uh, now I'm also not asking for people how are you I'm just telling hey cheers cheers okay. The sixth point surprising for me is that here in Poland in almost every house you will go you will need to remove shoes before coming in it doesn't matter if your shoes are clean or dirty you just have to remove your shoes in some houses they can give you a um, slipper or small tongue not to walk um, like this without shoes the seventh point i think that i already said about this in my previous videos that water is not for free in restaurant and if you will ask for water, be sure that you'll have to pay that water. And in Poland, when they are giving you water, almost every time it will be sparkling water. So you need to say that you want uh, still water because uh, in my opinion, people are drinking more um, still water than sparkling water or not. I mean, me. Ninth point is that in Poland, you don't have hours for eating. It's not like in France that uh, to eat lunch you have to go to restaurant uh, from 12 to 2 or 3 and for dinner you have to be from 6.30 to uh, 9.30 or 10 p.m. Uh, here in Poland every time you are going you can eat and even if you are going at 11 you can eat lunch even if you are going at uh, 3 you can eat lunch even if you are going at 10 you can eat lunch you can even eat dinner at five if you want. So they don't have these hours here. Like uh, you will go and the restaurant will be closed. The restaurants are open all the time. Another point surprising for me is that here in Poland, you will have to pay if you want to use toilet. 
in some places, of course not in mall like a uh, shopping center, but in some places like um, if you are going to visit uh, some monument and there are toilets there, you will have to pay for this. I remember when I was pregnant, you know, at the end of the pregnancy, you want to go to the toilet almost <laughs> every minute. And I was like, I will not have to pay all the time I want to go to the toilet, it's not possible. And that woman told me, I understand, go. Another surprising thing about Polish people for me is that there are around 2 million Polish people living abroad but they are always shocked or surprised or feeling not good with the fact that uh, foreigners are coming to their country so for me I don't see where is the logic. Can you explain me? <laughs> the last thing is that in Poland people are calling their parent-in-law parent. Like for example your mother-in-law you can call her um, mama, mamusha but in some country it can be not appreciated because you only have just one mother and calling another woman mama it's like you know so here in Poland I saw many people calling their parent-in-law mama, mamus, mamusha, things like this but so if you are getting married with a Polish uh, ask him or her how you will have to call his parent or her parent. So guys, this is what I wanted to share with you today. If you like my videos, please don't forget to give me one thumbs up, subscribe, activate your notification and share with your friends. Thank you for watching. Bye. So...